Hello and welcome to the newly formed What The Schmuck. Formerly time with Eli, guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm creating a new kind of channel here, guys. We're still gonna appreciate classical music. But we're gonna appreciate many things, many, many things on the channel. We're gonna discuss things. We're gonna engage in our community on Discord. Discord's been doing great. There are about 300 people in there. If you don't know the Discord, link in the description of every video on the channel. Come join us, have a good time. So basically this is gonna be a variety show. We're gonna discuss things. Today's topic, which I'm gonna discuss somewhat in length, is why there hasn't been advancements in the cleaning of our backsides. Why are we still using toilet paper, folks? Why are we still using toilet paper? It's been around for millennia, I'd say. At least several millennia we've been using toilet paper or rags or whatever else. But why hasn't there been some sort of, you know, men in black contraption that we can put behind us flash and it cleans our backside? Why can't there be some sort of vacuum utensil that we use on our backside? I don't know, but there should be something for our backsides besides toilet paper. More on that later. Right now we'll have the funny meme of the day. Let's go. Yes, I always look like an ancient alien Jedi when I sit on the toilet at four in the morning, especially when I see what comes out the other end. If it's one of those days, if you know what I mean. Guys, toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. We have a variety of colors, plies, thicknesses. But why are we still using toilet paper? Why do we have to use our hand? That is ultraly disgusting, I think. Very disgusting. And while we're in the bathroom, why don't we discuss toothbrushes? Floss, all these things that haven't changed for so long. We have these new technologies. I'm using a phone to record. We have a shower that hasn't changed besides rain shower. Why don't we have some sort of vaporizer to clean ourselves? You know what I mean? We go in there, there's hot air and dry soaps. So we can get in, get out without drying off. I think it'd be fantastic. Now guys, now we have the funny picture of the day. We're gonna try to do on this channel. If you don't know the Discord, we have a, a leader on Discord, somewhat of a leader, of course, behind me. Eli. His name is Xerox. He's the moderator extraordinaire. I've started, I'm going to start something on this channel where we guess what Xerox looks like. Because he doesn't want to share what he looks like. Apparently he has a hard time standing. I don't know if that's a leg problem or if it's something because he's like me where he eats a little bit too many cookies or something like that. In any case, here's the picture of the day guessing what Xerox looks like. Go. Is that you Xerox? Is that you buddy? I think a lot of us would agree that might be Xerox. Xerox, write it down in the comments or in the Discord if that's you. If not, I'll guess again on the next show. I want to know if that's you, buddy, because I'm dying to know what you look like. I want to get a good image. Everybody knows what I look like. Nobody knows what anybody else looks like. It's not fair. Guys, roll the funny clip of the day. We have, we're going we're gonna to get to the music. I have a musical piece picked out, and it is classical. But I want to get to a funny clip I found of an anime. Short clip. Supposed to be funny. I want to check it out. Let's go. Bouncing off. Come on. <laughs> that, was good. that was good. That was a genuine. Oh, I didn't think it was going to be funny. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, Lord, that was. <laughs> and then she slapped it over the head with a broom. What do you guys, do you know that anime? Put it down in the comments if you know that anime. Now let's get to the, the classical music section of the show. Today I've selected a short one to start things off. Bedinnery by Johann Sebastian Bach. This is a fantastic performance. I think I've heard this one before. Cue up Bach, let's go. If you don't know this one, it's a flute piece by Bach. Of course, Baroque style, all Bach's works are Baroque. But it's a fantastic piece, fantastic melody. Just an overall up piece, if you know what I mean. Very positive, very uplifting, you know? I love this one. It flows so elegantly, and it flows so simply, whereas it builds, but it builds so gradually. You see how it replays the same melody over and over again? But in its slightly different note, slightly different tone. See, it's just, it's raised just a quarter step, I think. Maybe, yeah, quarter step. 
Oh, not a step, that's a tempo, but you know what I mean, quarter note. And now it's gotten, gotten a little bit deeper, a little bit more on the, towards the bass. Now it's dropped to half, I think. Well, while some of it rises in pitch, some of it goes down in pitch as well. Very interesting. And then just intertwined so beautifully, that's Bach. He was always so good with the tonic. So beautiful, as we all know. Box cello suite. Box Chow Sweet and G Minor, the, the world famous Bach piece. We all know. You guys have seen it. If you don't know classical music too well, the Bach, Bach Cello Suite. I think it was played by Sheko Kanemais, one of the prominent uh, cellists of the day, at uh, Harry and what's her name? What's the young lady's name? Prince Harry. I don't know who he's married to. I know he's married to the young lady. I can't remember her name. Uh, Megan? Harry and Megan? I think it might be Megan. It was played at their wedding by Sheko Kanemais when he was 16. And also, if you've seen popular culture, if you know. Uh, uh, the Hangover Part 2 The young gentleman at the wedding His sister's wedding Who played the cello He played the Bach cello piece That I love That also has a beautifully entwined tonic And it's really perfectly formed in that piece The structure of that piece It's like a perfect 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 piece And for Bach to do that so early on in music history Without so many good examples before him Really is exceptional It's as if, you know Say we're going to Mars today uh, but we had never been to the moon or in orbit, you know? It's like taking a step from having never left left Earth's uh, gravitational pull and going to Mars for the first time after leaving the gravitational pull. It's that much of a giant leap into music for Bach to write so beautifully at such an early stage of music when there was really just notations, there was no recordings. There was It was just for him to listen to people perform in front of him or, you know, see notation on paper. He was really something special. Bach, world famous genius for all time. Guys, that'll do it. I hope you enjoyed this new structure of video. I'm gonna become um, a little more creative in the ideas I pull for these kind of videos, but I hope you enjoyed it overall. And again, we are totally crowdfunded. I don't know if I'm gonna do a monetization on this channel. I'm obviously not monetized since deleting the channel. Uh, so if you wanna help support the channel, $5 on Patreon goes a long way into keeping these videos coming. I can, you know, get back to doing them every day and continue to do them every day. If a little support from the community, $5 minimum Patreon. It's time W E live from uh, patreon.com. Go check it out. And there's a lot of videos on there, guys. All the old videos. If you don't know that I used to have a channel, I had over 5,000 subscribers on the old channel. I deleted it. Something happened, I had to delete it. Uh, if you're new, you can see all the old videos that I've made, or most of them. There's about 150 over on Patreon, the old channel videos. But I had almost 700 videos on the old channel, so not nearly all of them. But if you guys are old timers and you know the old channel and you're returning here to this new channel, Thank you for coming back, and you can also see the older, older videos on Patreon. Thanks again, guys. This has been What the Schmuck. We'll see you next time. Take care.